Hi guys, um, I'm having some issues again with the sound and this is a continuation of the updates and announcements video that I just posted uh, where the sound cut off. Anyways, I was about to talk about Mist and how uh, that was back in the day my favorite game for a couple of years um, because I really like adventure games and at the time it was really groundbreaking, uh, awe-inspiring, just beautiful, beautiful graphics for its time. Um, and I spent a lot of time trying to play that. I was enjoying it, but uh, as I was very young when I was playing it, I didn't really have the problem-solving uh, skills at the time to really, um, you know, finish a lot of the puzzles even though I did I did work some of them out um, I really love that game just from uh, an artistic standpoint it's really gorgeous um, so I do like adventure games uh, so I'm, that's what another reason I'm kinda like looking forward to playing The Longest Journey is kind of a um, uh, an adventure game but I don't know as far as doing a straight-up adventure game I don't know if I would, because I, I definitely wouldn't play it blind, of course, that that would goes without saying, but I don't know if I would actually say that I'm good at adventure games, even though I really do enjoy them, because let's just say nobody has accused me of under-analyzing things. I have a bad habit of incredibly over-analyzing things, uh, which you may have noticed in Heavy Rain. And I enjoy doing it as well. It's kind of a, a natural thing that just happens. I don't mean to overanalyze things. Just I just do. Um, so sometimes I overanalyze to the point that I miss things that are incredibly obvious and uh, simple to the average person. Whereas I'm not looking for something that simple. So um, I, I have some other things that I'm looking for. So I miss what you're actually supposed to do. Interestingly enough, I was debating on whether I wanted to do Real Mist as my first, uh, and that's what I mean, excuse me, when I was talking about playing Mist when I was very young, Real Mist was what I was playing. It's the uh, 3D, uh, very, very different looking, but still excellent. I actually prefer that one to the original because th the original one was a lot of, um, you know, you it was the classic look one direction turn left you turn 90 degrees turn left again you turn 90 degrees it wasn't f fully explorable you move along nodes um, and I felt that was very restrictive for being immersed in the world and that's really the best thing about Myst and the Myst games was that they're so beautiful and the environment the ambience the sound everything is really immersive in the game so I, that's why I preferred real Myst Anyways, I was actually debating on whether to do Real Mist or Minecraft for my first trial Let's Play ever. Uh, and obviously you can see which one won out. The only reason that it wasn't Real Mist was because I couldn't get it to work on my computer. And I suppose it's actually a good thing that, uh, that I didn't because Minecraft turned out to be um, one of the most popular ones that I've done so far. Uh, along the same lines, if if you guys like adventure games and you like watching adventure games, I do. I like watching uh, adventure games because a lot of times I don't have the time to spend playing them myself. Um, but again, Dylandu 3000 um, does excellent, phenomenal Let's Plays of adventure games. Uh, the Myst series, as well as some older ones. The Longest Journey and Dreamfall, I believe I mentioned, if that wasn't in the part that got cut off. Uh, so I do highly recommend him. He also is exceptionally knowledgeable um, about the Mist world. It actually was an entire universe world story that was created around the, uh, the game, the games that later came out, uh, and there were actually novels that were released as well. And they're, in my opinion, extremely good. They're interesting, and uh, I really do love the whole concept behind it. It's um, it's very in-depth and extensive, 
and uh, Dailandu, aka Sven, is uh, very, very knowledgeable about that stuff, and he explains it along the way, and I find that very, very, very entertaining. And at some point, I'm going to, probably today, um, get a list of the recommended Let's Players that, that I like on my channel, you know, um, Manga Minx, of course, uh, Dailandu3000 is his channel name, and Dark Chiron, mainly. Um, I like to watch Day 9. Um, I like to watch a lot of StarCraft. I, I play some StarCraft, but um, I like watching the Day 9. I love Day 9. Anyways, there were other things that needed to be covered. Um, right, also, um, I want I would like to play a horror game in the future. Uh, let's play a horror game in the future. No, nothing too intense. Uh, a couple people asked if I would play Amnesia the Dark Descent. To that, I have to say, uh, not on your life. Because I would play that game. Um, or if I, if I did attempt that game, it would probably go something like this. I would possibly get through the first video. Uh, even slimmer chance would I get through the second video, but somewhere along the line, within the first couple videos, I would just reach a point where I would say to you guys, Guys! I can't do this! I can't do this! I'm sorry! And that is how the series would end. And, uh, then I would be psychologically scarred for life, and then, um, and then you just have to settle for me doing Let's Plays of games like My Little Ponies for the rest of time. And that's not good. So, um, no, no, no amnesia. Uh, n not only because of that, but also because both Dark Chiron and Manga Minx, Manga Minx have already done Let's Plays of Amnesia. Go watch Manga Minx's, uh, Amnesia if you haven't already. Uh, it's hilarious. She's hilarious. Um, and that's all around good. But if anybody knows of a game that's moderately scary, moderately horror themed, that would be great. Something something at the scariness level of the path. And I know probably you're like, oh, well, that wasn't scary at all. Well, yes, the path was infinite amounts of creepy, uh, which I liked. And uh, really not too much in the way of scary scary. I would say it was moderately scary for me. Something kind of like that I would like to play. And I think it would probably be uh, fun for you guys to watch as that is about the threshold of scariness that I can tolerate. Um, even in a couple of parts, I was getting very, very nervous. Jump scares, I am a sucker for. Anytime there's a jump scare or a creeper jumping out of my house to say hello, um, that is genuine reaction on my part. Uh, raining zombies, jump scares are the worst, and I really cannot refrain from any shrieks, screams, or squeals that may come out of my mouth. Uh, because of a jump scare, so apologies on that. I r really do like um, those types of games, horror games, Silent Hill, I think I mentioned this in the part that didn't get cut off, Silent Hill was incredible to watch, but I personally cannot handle playing them, uh, like I said, probably due to watching things like Doom and Doom 2, uh, you know, at 6, 5, 6, 7 years old. Might have something to do with it, possibly. Um, one other little note. Uh, it's actually the one year anniversary of my very first video upload on YouTube ever this month. It might be within the next couple days, like the 18th of June or something like that. It was actually an Airsoft video because uh, some of you aren't aware of this apparently, but uh, I do both Airsoft videos and Let's Plays on this channel. Uh, speaking of which, if you have not gone to check out my channel, I have a section for frequently asked questions. I think I mentioned it a couple of times. I get asked a lot of the same questions over and over. And if you have a question or you would like some form of information, do me a favor and go ahead and check my channel page first. I have some. I have a regular announcements, bulletins. That way, you don't have to, uh, you know, spam people with announcements uh, all the time using the YouTube bulletin feature, but um, I have a lot of interesting and informative information on the channel, so check that out if you have any questions. Also going to be adding, you know, my recommended Let's Players, and um, so my first 
my first video upload is this month, Airsoft video. Uh, I actually did that for for a couple months before I even started the Let's Plays. Um, but I do have to admit that I prefer making these a lot more. Last on the agenda, happy birthday to the Jimmy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. You can't see, but I'm making the finger heart. The finger heart. Happy birthday, Jimmy. I don't know how to pronounce your name exactly, but, it, but if I had to take a stab at it, it would be Jimmy. Tomorrow's his birthday, so happy birthday to him. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you again for the 1,000 subscriptions. I'm totally excited about it and thrilled. Haven't even been doing Let's Plays for one year. Just about one year now and got 1,000 subs. And I'm really excited about that. Really, really thankful for all you guys' support and uh, the compliments, and uh, I really like seeing that. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions of what you'd like to see a little bit more of, what you'd like to see a little bit less of, um, I always uh, appreciate getting your feedback, as long, so long as it's presented in a sincere, mature, constructive way. All right, guys, I will see you later.